Hey, Justin, Mark with ABC 11 back in Raleigh. Uh, part of the reason I'm sure you came to Carolina is to be a top-ranked team in the nation and have a chance to win a national championship. So you're at the start of that path this year with everybody thinking you have a chance. What's, what's the biggest obstacles you think you have to get over? Um, biggest thing for us is just playing tough on defense. Um, we have a lot of pieces that can score on offense. Um, but the biggest thing for us last year was getting defensive stops and rebounding. Um, so that's a big focus that we're having this year. Question for Justin in the room. Follow up here. How, how much better can you be this year? You started obviously to pick up speed near the end of last season. Do you feel like you've taken a couple more steps in the off season too? Um, definitely. I can always get better. Uh, individually, I can always get better. Um, in this off season, I think I took a few steps forward um, as far as the weaknesses that I have. Um, and then in practice, I've really tried to focus on the things I need to do better at for this team. Um, so for me individually, I really feel good. And for this team, we all really feel good about this team. What did Coach, what did coach tell you? We'll take the microphone. Here we go. What did Coach tell you that he needed you to be for the team this year? Um, you know, just be more confident, be as aggressive as I can, whether that's offense or defense. Um, scoring the ball if I need to. Rebounding the ball is a big thing that I need to do better at. Um, and then defensively, I just really need to uh, take more pride on the defensive end. There is a giant leap that people take from their freshman year to their sophomore year, not basketball related. What is it about you that you learned during that transition? Um, biggest thing for me is confidence. Uh, this time last year, I was nowhere near as confident as I, as I am now on and off the court. And I think that will really help me individually and help the team as well. Um, and so for that, I think I'm really looking forward to how this season will play out for me and then how the season will play out for the team. We're really looking forward to it. Questions for Justin as Kennedy's off here in the wings making comments back at his teammate. You'll get yours in a minute. Right here in the middle. Mandy Mitchell, WRL, back in Raleigh. What has Marcus done this offseason to kind of get you guys ready to play and ready to maybe win a championship, him being the leader of this team? Um, I mean, obviously, Marcus is a leader for us, uh, but I want to say it's just Marcus. Um, everybody's coming with the mindset that we can really do this. Um, and so with that mindset, I think going to the offseason, everybody tried to work on their weaknesses. Everybody tried to do everything they could to make themselves better, to make the team better. And for that, you know, Coach always comes into practice and say, says that if we do all the little things, do everything that we can, we have a chance to be really good. Um, and for that, that just gives us all motivation to keep doing everything that we can to work as hard as we can. You guys have really bonded well, it seems like. It seems like you like each other. Where does that come from? You know, honestly, I don't know. Uh, when me, Theo, and Joel stepped foot as, as freshmen on campus, um, we all just clipped. And, you know, I think that'll be a big aspect um, of the team this year as far as staying together through tough times um, and just being able to do everything for each other. I think that's a big thing for us is everything that we do, we try to do for each other, um, whether it's on the court or off the court. So being as close as we are, I think it'll be really good for us. Question here in the middle. Who is the most competitive guy on your team during practice? During practice? Um, that's tough, honestly. Um, I'm going to have to say, Joel James can get a little, he can get a little heated sometimes. Um, maybe it's just him being so big, it's kind of intimidating for me. Uh, but I think everybody, honestly, this year, it's just, it's a whole different level um, of everybody wanting to win. All the competitions in practice, everything that we do in practice, if we lose, everybody's upset. Um, and so I think whenever we step out there on the court, if everybody can keep that same fire, it'll be really good for us. Back to Mark here in the middle. I just forgot what I was going to. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, it's not often in college basketball anymore that you have so much upper class leadership and the kind of players that you guys bring back. What's, from your perspective as just a sophomore, how does that impact the team and how does that manifest itself kind of day in and day out? Um, it's huge. Um, we've got guys that have been there before. And with that, even um, me as a sophomore and the other two sophomores that we have, We've even been to the Sweet 16. Um, and with that, we know what it takes. Last year, we didn't have it all the way. Um, but now we know what it takes to 
to be one of those great teams in the country. Um, and so that will really help us. You sort of smiled and laughed it off when you said that Joel intimidates you a little bit. Are there things that really do intimidate you? No. I mean, when it comes down to it, there's not really things that intimidate me. Um, obviously, Joel, he's a, he's a big human being, um, one of the biggest guys I've ever been around. Um, but um, there's nothing really that really can intimidate me on the court. Dash Ty Hurt, Carolina Blitz. Uh, can he talk about the spirit of this team uh, coming into this season? ranked as preseason number one and how it's changed from last year? Um, I think it's different from a lot of our teams that we had since I've been here. Um, I mean, we're coming in with a lot more confidence, um, a lot more intensity, um, just taking a, a, things a little bit more serious um, as far as um, sticking together, like Justin said before, um, just being there for each other as much as we can because um, when it gets tough on the road or when it gets tough in the tournament, um, we're going to have to be there for each other. So um, I just think right now, why not practice? Um, why not execute those plays? Why not play hard on defensive end? I um, mean, the competitions we have in practice and those, those types of things. Here in the middle to our right. I mean, kind of the same question I asked Justin. You've got so many guys, and he says, that have been there. And what you ultimately each year is you felt like the sting of going down earlier than you wanted to. How do you carry that feeling of pain over to maybe this year where you have the chance to end on top? Um, I think it's fuel to the fire. Um, I just think for us right now as a team, um, I mean, the rankings don't matter. Um, with Carolina, we're always going to have a target on our back, um, like Coach always says. Um, we just got to be a big-time team this year. Um, we worked so hard in the offseason to, to really get to where we want to be as far as conditioning and, and all those things that come into having a long season. Um, so I think for right now, uh, our main focus is our execution and practice, um, whether it's a three-hour practice, two-hour practice, or whatever it may be. Uh, we just need to go hard the entire time. Back to our right on the aisle here. Mandy Mitchell, WRL, back in Raleigh. You guys are, at North Carolina are all really highly recruited athletes. We're kind of doing a story on recruiting. What's the craziest or nicest thing that a coach maybe did to you or did for you to try to get you to come to their school? You don't have to mention the school, but <laughs> just maybe a recruiting story you can share. Um, I mean, I would say for me, I think pretty much all of them were the same um, as far as home visits. Um, I mean, on my recruiting visits, um, I mean, of course, me and the teams have fun. I mean, that's a part of college, but I think from the basketball aspect, um, I mean, every coach is pretty much the same as far as um, trying to reel me in to get to their school or um, send players at me, text messages, or whatever it may be to, to try to convince me to come there. Camera platform, top right. Hey, Kennedy, Damon Dillman from WCAV in Charlottesville. Once, once January gets here, just how much of a grind is this league night in and night out? Um, I mean, like, like someone said earlier, that this is probably the best conference in the country. Um, so, I mean, um, night in and night out, it's going to be a great competition um, ahead of us uh, for any team, I think. Uh, I mean, from the, from the bottom teams to the top teams, I just think everyone's coming with their best effort, uh, no matter what team you are. Uh, so, I think for right now, um, North Carolina basketball, we have to focus on us. Um, and when the games come, uh, everything that we worked hard for in the offseason will come. First row cameras, opposite side. Yeah. White shirt. Hey, Kenny. Yeah. Jason Brown, uh, Tom Moore Cable News here in Charlotte. One, welcome home. Thank you. Uh, second of all, you mentioned the fact that obviously in North Carolina, you guys are used to being a target, but still being a preseason number one or just being ranked number one altogether, that maybe does that present a different type of pressure? Even though you guys say it, it doesn't, rankings don't matter, but are you expecting it might be a little bit different this season going into a year being ranked number one? Um, like I said before, I, I really honestly don't think so. Um, I mean, I think a target is a target. Um, a team is a team. I mean, like, like Justin said, um, it's always going to be teams on the hunt for us. Uh, no matter if we're number one, number 60, or whatever we are, um, they're going to always try to beat North Carolina. So I just think that comes with um, the respect of coach, um, the respect of our school, uh, no matter what we've been through lately. Um, I think everyone still has a type of respect for us. Um, to bring that to A game every time. Last question, back to our right in the middle. The Snow Seeker Kennedy, you guys had trouble closing games last year. What was the reason for that? Is that a, a confidence issue, a mental toughness thing? And is that something that can be fixed? Or is, I mean, you obviously aren't anticipating that being a problem this year. I mean, I think one thing to fix it would be a lot of running for us. Um, so, I mean, we try to stay away from that as much as we can. I mean, Coach has a poster in the locker room that says we have to be tougher. Um, with the games that we gave up in the second half where we had leads. Um, so I think he, he's constantly reminding us of 
the opportunities that we could have had last year. Um, I mean, being up at Duke um, by 10 uh, with three minutes to go, wherever it was, um, being up in Wisconsin by nine um, with 10 minutes left in the game. Um, both of those teams played for the championship. So, I mean, why not us? Um, it was a great opportunity for us, and we let it slip away. So I think right now, like I said before, it's a fuel to the fire for our team, um, just trying to execute as much as we can uh, so we're going to be there at the end.